Well, the rush is on in the House of Representatives. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi wants to quickly pass several bills to protect so-called abortion rights, she says, that they are needed after the U.S. Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales has the latest. Self-proclaimed Catholic House Speaker Nancy Pelosi told colleagues that lawmakers will once again take up the Women's Health Protection Act, which is essentially abortion on demand. And that's not all. Democrats want to pass a bill that will ensure the privacy of women using health apps to seek abortions in states without protections. And another bill which reiterates women have the constitutional right to travel freely to any state to seek an abortion. In the Senate, the Judiciary Committee took a deeper look at the effects of the justices' decision regarding Roe. Both sides condemned recent attacks on churches and pro-life pregnancy care centers. Threatening justices, pregnancy centers, and churches is not the answer. I hope the extreme rhetoric that gives rise to this violence won't be a part of our conversation. I condemn all violence and threats of violence in the strongest possible terms, whether the targets are pregnancy counseling centers or abortion clinics, period. Violence is never an appropriate form of protest. Pro-life organizations say the justice's decision was a win for the Constitution. The late pro-abortion icon Justice Ginsburg called Roe a heavy-handed judicial intervention that was difficult to justify. And legally, scientifically, morally, it is. Every community needs a place for women facing unplanned pregnancies who are seeking dependable medical resources in a safe, caring environment during the, one of the most difficult times of their lives. While pro-abortion supporters say the decision created two nations. One, where those whose reproductive freedom belongs to themselves. And another, whose reproductive freedom belongs to a small group of politicians who have effectively appointed themselves as decision makers over our bodies, our lives and our futures. In the coming days, the Senate Judiciary Committee will hold more hearings regarding Roe. Meanwhile, the Democratic National Committee just launched a six-figure ad campaign. They claim that Republicans are trying to outlaw abortion nationwide. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.